What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Another Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. Welcome back, my friends. How's everyone doing? Now, uh, Tabletop Takeout Tuesdays, they're not full reviews. I just want to remind you, they're, they're bullet points as to why I like or love it when a game hits the table. And today, we're talking about something that doesn't have a great big footprint. And that's awesome. Since I film a lot of games, I really do have a special place in my heart for the games that don't take up a full table. <laughs> but this one is not only tiny, but it is most epic, my friends. So how about you join me down the table and I will tell you the reasons, the bullet points, why I do love tiny, epic dinosaurs. Come on, I'll see you down the table. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to join me down here and listen to the reasons why uh, I like tiny, epic dinosaurs. <laughs> now, uh, it is a small footprint game, more or less, for the Tiny Epic series, and it covers dinosaurs! <laughs> it's all the fun of a Jurassic-sized game compacted down into a tiny, tiny tiny epic box <laughs> you can you can you can build or, or breed your own dinosaurs you get to cage them and keep them and put them on display in uh, in a display park <laughs> that's right you are going to be running your own dino show <laughs> how exciting is that but uh be careful Things can go bad sometimes, but otherwise, you've got dinosaurs! <laughs> now, me personally, I found the gameplay of this a little bit difficult. Not not the rules or anything, just being successful in the game. And that says a lot coming from me, because I don't have the greatest track record with winning a lot of games. But this one, this one was really tough, I felt. But at the same time, it was, I, I felt like the whole game itself was steeped heavily in this, in this real deep strategy. I, me, personally, I just wasn't grasping onto it too strong. Uh, but that's a personal experience. A lot of people don't seem to struggle with the problem that I have. The rules are easy enough to learn. I didn't have a problem with that at all. It really comes out of the strategy. You know, this is the kind of game that you're going to be thinking about and getting your head into and it into your head uh, just to try to figure out how you're going to win the damn thing. I think this game is a real masterclass uh, focus on the whole worker placement and area control. You know, your, your meeple management, as I like to call it, style of game. This really is a master class in it. Uh, it takes the concept and it builds upon everything you already know and throws it in this system, this theme, and it, it, it works. It works great. I, I, I don't see how it could have worked out any other way. Now, as, as far as the the, the, the components uh, inside the box go. Again, it's another, you know, hit out of the ballpark. It's another nat 20 crit hit, if you ask me. But this is a gimme at this point. Now, I don't even think about that. That doesn't even cross my mind anymore when it comes to a Gamelin Games title. Well, at least the Tiny Epic series that I've been, <laughs> I've been consuming so much of. Uh, yeah, the components are always great. In this case, the Dino Meeples, they, they do. They look fun and fantastic. You know, as I alluded to earlier, and as you would expect in a game style like this, yeah, there are times that there's going to be some dino stampedes and escapes going on in your world. Uh, so this was where the excitement comes. This is where some of the tension starts to build up. Uh, if they overbreed one too many in a cage, they're going to break out, and all hell is going to break loose. We've seen what it looks like on the big screen, and now we get to see what it looks like on the small table. <laughs> Overall, yeah, I, I got to give it to it. This is a great family game, I think. This is a great game for kids. This is a good game to 
bring people together and have a little fun. It's competitive, but it's not as uh, cutthroat as some more violent competitive games are. It pulls a lot of things together that you're going to be familiar with, so nothing's going to be coming out of left field at you. You're going to feel comfortable with this game. It's a good, fun game, and those are the reasons why I really do love getting it down to the table, seeing it down there, playing it, experiencing it. But you know what? Just just go out and, and, and watch some playthroughs. Inform yourself. Don't be influenced. Get your own damn head together in the game and figure it out. It's a lot better that way. Watch some playthroughs, like I said. I'll give you an idea if it's something that you're going to be into, you're going to like. But there you go. There you go. <laughs> the bullet points, the reasons why I like and love tiny, epic dinosaurs.